It's been described as the biggest and most outrageous piracy operation in history, which has been allowed to continue for the past three years. But that might all change now after the World Trade Organization, one of the most important international bodies of jurisdiction, issued its findings into the case of Saudi Arabia and the theft of TV broadcasting rights. In 2017, shortly after the kingdom and three of its allies imposed a land, air and sea blockade on Qatar, a new television network was unveiled named Be Out Q. The new channel was nothing more than a piracy operation that stole the signal and output from Be In Sports, the Qatari-owned subscription-based sports and entertainment network, and rebroadcast it around the world. The largest global sporting events, including the 2018 FIFA World Cup, the English Premier League, tennis Grand Slams and Formula One, were all illegally broadcast by Be Out Q in a flagrant breach of intellectual property rights and several other international treaties. According to the World Trade Organization's independent investigation, Be Out Q was and is supported by the Saudi government. The report names Saud al-Qahtani, the so-called right-hand man of the kingdom's effective ruler, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, as being behind Be Out Q. The WTO also confirms that through government-owned entities such as Arabsat, Be Out Q was able to operate and transmit its signal, and that Saudi Arabia ignored numerous requests from the US and British governments and sporting bodies such as the Premier League and FIFA to put an end to the piracy. The panel has uh, reached a specific conclusion that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is in a breach of the WTO obligation for refusing to take any actions against the pirate B out of queue. Not only that, but also actively promoting uh, the Saudi-based broadcast of that pirate uh, B out of queue. The findings by the WTO do not come with any mechanism that will force Saudi Arabia to cease its piracy. But there is another ongoing legal case that might. Whereas the World Trade Organization's investigation was instigated by a request from Qatar's government, the BN network has filed a separate $1 billion lawsuit. BN Sport as a Qatari company is pursuing its own uh, legal actions against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the form of an, an international arbitration. And to the extent of my knowledge, this arbitration is in its uh, procedures. And uh, uh, this is, will be the platform for the uh, uh, BN Sport to uh, seek the compensation uh, for the uh, harm that happened uh, to that company. This case is important globally because aside from the theft of some of the most sought-after broadcasting television rights, Saudi Arabia is also trying to buy one of the largest and oldest football clubs in England, Newcastle United. That takeover is now hanging in the balance. Whilst the World Trade Organization may not have the power to force Saudi Arabia to shut down its piracy operation, its ruling is a very clear indictment that the kingdom is behind one of the largest thefts of intellectual property rights in history. Many will view this as yet another failure of Saudi Arabia's policies under the de facto rule of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Jamal Al Shayal, Al Jazeera, Doha. Well, David Sugden is the legal counsel and director of corporate affairs for BN Media Group. He says the ruling is a victory for sports bodies that have had their broadcasts stolen by Saudi Arabia. This is a major victory for intellectual property rights protection and a major victory for the international rule of law. Fundamentally, sport relies on protection of IP and international law and local law to protect um, its interests and sadly for three years now um, every sports body's rights have been run roughshod over by Saudi Arabia uh, and this judgment uh, emphatically uh, says that. Ordinarily the natural home for uh, these cases is in the jurisdiction where the crime is committed and the criminal is based. Um, that in this case uh, is Saudi Arabia and has been for three years. Um, however the government of Saudi Arabia has proven by the WTO itself today deliberately blocked any legal action from BN Media Group, from uh, not only BN, but every single major world football body um, in, in the world, from bringing legal action to protect their intellectual property in Saudi Arabia. That was a very deliberate strategy to basically mean that no one can protect their rights. And as a result, you have to rely on international law, um, which is why this case was brought by Qatar at the WTO, 
uh, and uh, it has emphatically ruled in, in favour of international law and the protection of, of sports rights.